Hi guys, my name is Lucky and today I want to show you on how to create your use case diagram and how you can do using the Microsoft Visual and also how you can get the Microsoft Visual. So what is Visual? It's a um, diagramming and vector graphics application and with visual you can pull together flowcharts networks diagrams floor plans and any other types okay so we're going to walk through step by step so by the end of this video you will be proficient and ready to start using the visual and create your own use case diagram okay to get the microsoft visual open up your browser and navigate to the following url you don't need to have to type in I've included the link in the description below in the description so you can simply click on that this will drop you on the main visual homepage this contains information about what you can do with Microsoft visual but in a moment I'll show you everything that you can do with Microsoft visual to get visual let's click on the c plans pricing this opens up a page where you could compare all of the different visual options just like most companies these days microsoft is pushing the subscription plan for visual if you don't like subscription in a moment i'll show you what other options you have by default there are two different visual plans. You have the descriptive name, visual plan 1, and a visual plan 2. What's the different other than the cost? No? So, well, let's start with the visual plan 1. With visual plan 1, it's $5 per month, and you can get to visual on the web. With visual plan 2, if you just have basic flow charting or diagramming needs, Visual Plan 1 will probably be sufficient. With Visual Plan 2, it's a little more expensive at $15 per month. You can get access to Visual Plan on the web in addition to the Visual Desktop app. The Desktop app has more functionality than the web version. You're going to get more shapes, more templates, and more styles. You can collaborate with multiple people at the same time on the same diagram. You can link diagrams to live data and also get access information rights management. If you are in a professional set, you might need that additional functionality so Visual Plan 2 might be sense for you. Now, I mentioned with look back at the other option you don't like subscription they have visual standard for 2019 and visual professional 2019 standard goes uh, to 80 dollars and a professional is uh, goes for 530 dollars so it's a bit expensive what i recommend doing is i'd probably going with the subs subscription plan and use it for the duration of your project and you'll probably come out ahead plus the benefit of a subscription is you get constant updates and you're always on the latest and greatest so if you're not sure with the which option is for you i just recommend trying out uh, the 30 day free trial of visho so you can see if visho is an app that you might be interested in using Next, I'd like to talk a little bit about the symbol that you should on a UML case diagram following the rules of the unified modeling language. So, well, actually, whatever rules you will follow when you are drawing a diagram, such as the use case diagram, you should always use the correct symbols because this is a tool of communication and communication is a two-way street. It only works in both parties. The person receiving and the person sending you are using common terminology in the word of diagram that means that every symbol has that convey the specific meaning 
And if you use the correct symbols, you are conveying the correct thing to the recipient or to the person looking at the diagram. So here we are in our Microsoft Visual. So we have so many categories or templates available here. So at this time, we were going to create a blank drawing or basic diagram. Now, uh, click the blank drawing and create select the create and then uh, place your cursor at the more shapes and then choose software and database select software and select the UML use case uh, symbol so this time uh, we need to select the uh, no team for our use case drawing so uh, in use case diagram the first symbol you are going to see logically enough is a use case so just drag and drop the use case symbol and we will going to create three uh, use case symbols here for example we're going to create a shopping application like lazada or a shopee so we need to create a three use case diagram okay so use case to add a use case just drag and drop and uh, right click for the first use case symbol and insert a text so let's say uh, we will going to add the browse website browse website and then place order so by doing edit text place order and then the last one is check order status so one of the uh, browse website one for the place order and check order status use case and if all these three use cases if this is the way where we were representing use case by convention we're using an oval so very important to use an oval because uh, circle in the word of uml has a different meaning the oval indicates that this is a use case and the name of the use case is written inside the oval by convention so by the way that headline is as it says it also conventions and that is merely to say that this comment is related to this object so since the dotted line is connecting the text with that object browse website it's saying that this is about what is what this weak comment is related to so now if we were if all these three cases part of the application or a single application, you might put them together in what the UML calls package. So now if you are if all these cases part of the common application or a single application, you might put them together in what the UML calls a package. Now to add a UML package, just head on the more shapes on your left side of the screen and then select the software and database go to software and select uml class to add a new uml class symbol so drag and drop the package or expanded so the symbol for a package is this thing that looks like bit of a folder with a tab at the top so we will going to create the package name like uh, shopping application shopping application okay that is called the package now we will uh, try to insert a symbol like actor so head on the uml case and then drag and drop an actor symbol and we will create the name for that actor uh, what we call shopper okay. 
example, Shopper. Okay, Shopper interacts with the browse website. So, there is a connecting line between the actors and a shopper. So, we will have the association. Association from the actor to the uh, browse website. Okay? So, also, shopper, act shopper actor can place an order. So, we need to add a line. That is one feature of one of the things that they can use. Uh, this use case to do that they could interact with the use case and define okay so a use case for place order and the actor so this time si shopper pwede po siyang mag browse ng website and can place an order next thing is we will have to add an actor of the uh, right side right side just click edit text and a credit card processor so we will name that actor as credit card processor okay so credit card processor if you you are paying with a credit card typically it's going to be an external entity or external api that plays order is going to go or to get your credit card process since you have multiple different types of credit cards like american express mastercard etc so it's going to to whatever credit card processor is appropriate that really says that this actor credit card processor can have a few different conventions so they can actually be a fairly complex thing in and themselves that complexity is hidden in the use case diagram we are consciously uh, try to keep this as simple as possible because it's a tool of communication between the business community and in the IT world now in uh, check order status uh, use case and fundamentally that's a little different than the others because this is something that you can't do as shopper you have to place an order so meaning you have to become a customer in order to use a check order status so we need to create another actor called customer now this is really interesting because it also drag an association from customer to check order status now this is really very interesting because it also shows that on the use case diagram the customer could be a shopper in a future until that customer has logged in and we know that they are known customer they are going to going under the generic shopper actor if they are really logged in and we know they are, they are a customer so there may be other use case that they could access their role as customer but input in this particular example the only one we're interested in showing the check order status so check order status involves shipping uh, clerks who's going to give the customer information where the package was shipped or when it's expected to ship so what's the status of the order is so we need to create another shipping clerk actor on the right side So finally, the lines that you see connecting to the actors with the use case, both sides, you see, they are a straight line. There is no arrow on them. Now, a few people by habit, if you can put an arrow on there because the initial interaction is going to come from which the actors from the left, which we call the primary actors etong mga nasa left ay what we call the primary 
actors. They are the only ones that can initiate one of these use case. Uh, they can trigger it. So whereas the secondary actors were actors you can see on the right side of the use case. In order to achieve the desired business goal, in order to achieve the desired business goal and we getting an order to ship to the customer getting their money, the connecting lines have no arrows for the very simple reason, they indicate interaction. So if you put an arrow arrowhead on them, it looks like it's unidirectional. So meaning it's only going from the actor to the use case or in a use case for the secondary actors perhaps from the use case for the secondary actor you can put an arrow heads on both ends which would then add something to diagram that is not necessary revealing because the lines by convention is a solid line has interactions between uh, two entities in use case actors and use case use cases so that is a connecting line is very important that is a solid line it's not a dotted line the dotted line indicates a comment in connected to some object on the diagram whereas the solid line indicates a connection between two different objects on the diagram so you may have noticed that i'm using diagramming software to create this uml class diagram so the same principle applies if you are using the pen and paper but diagramming software make it much easier so the diagramming software i'm using today is the microsoft visual and you can download it free and log in using your microsoft account i want to thank you for watching this video i hope this was helpful for you please like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and i will see you next time bye bye